Do you like my hair? I curled them with foam rollers yesterday. They were supposed to be curlier than that, but eh, at least I tried. What up guys, what's new? It's Tiffany Wright coming at you. So, guys, I've been dabbling in fashion for a while already, and whenever I go out, the feedback is always positive. Oh, you're so cute. I like your style, girl. These fit you really well. So if you want to impress the boys, inspire the girls, get like a thousand followers on Instagram within a month, and make your mom say, you kind of stand out in these clothes. That's kind of the point, Ma. Anyways, basically, if you want some raw, first-hand, trend-free advice on how to actually look more stylish, well then, here's where I present some of my fashion tips. On to you. Quick disclaimer, I do not claim to be a fashion expert, nor do I have any background experience in fashion, except getting inspiration from Pinterest in the internet, and also blogging a lot about it, and getting a lot of compliments on the way. Got it? Okay, let's begin. Number one, do not follow current trends. Observe, what are the most trendy clothing stores? Forever 21, Marshalls, Urban Outfitters, H&M. What is trending on Instagram? All of this stuff. And uh, whatever Lauren Gray is wearing. Now go the opposite direction. Find alternative clothes stores, thrift stores, stores that are lesser known. There are a lot of alternative fashion brands, especially on Instagram and the internet. Basically, you want to stand out from what's popular right now. One example, and my personal favorite, is Yes Style. You know why it's alternative? Because most people don't know about it. Once I found that site, I was hooked. Look at it, just look at this outfit. The Asian aesthetic is so underrated in America, it brings a whole new look that I don't see anywhere else. I'm not saying to ditch mainstream stores entirely, no, no, no. I'm saying just be selective. For instance, I come out of Forever 21 usually buying one thing for every visit, and even that it's because I'm looking for a basic piece. Number two, always show some flair. This includes accessories. Find some that define you. For instance, I like rings, chokers, and maybe a bracelet or two. I did say my favorite accessories and neckties, so you'll definitely see me rock one time to time. If I want to go for a more feminine look, I'll wear a vibrant yet simple red scarf. Now, I see a lot of girls today tied on like headbands, but right now that's kind of in trend, so uh, next scarves it is. Paired with something classy like a blouse with a couple buttons down. So classy. Now, flair isn't limited to accessories. Clothing pieces with cute or interesting features can also glam up your look. Take, for instance, this blouse from YesStyle. The sleeves flare out and it has this cute Peter Pan collar. And this trench coat, also from YesStyle. It's bright red, has a cute bow on the back, and oh look, lacing on the bottom. Think about what add-ons your pieces have that make them look a little extra. Number three, know your style. Now, I know for myself that I'm a sucker for anything Japanese-inspired. Pastel shirts, mini skirts, platform heels, high neck blouses, you name it. Sometimes, though, I like to mix in some classic touches. Think. Audrey Hepburn style or Brigitte Bardot. Voila, youthful and girly with a touch of sophistication. Number four, do not underdress. Allow me to present the exposed bra trend. I see it everywhere in fashion magazines, on celebs, on Instagram. Like this one time I was hunting around Forever 21 and I find this really cute high neck blouse. Then I looked closer at it and I was like, wait a minute, material's so thin. That wouldn't make my tank top show. That just ruins the whole aesthetic. My problem with it is that exposed bras look, how do I put it there? Half-assed and unintentional, just like panty lines. I've heard of the effortless look, but this is ridiculous. Fashion is about displaying your clothes, not, not the lack of it. Speaking of underdressing, number five, ditch the leggings already. Look, it doesn't count when you use them for lounging around at home or when you're doing sports because I usually have to wear leggings for physical activities. My problem with them is that millions of women consider leggings as pants. Pants are what you wear to work. Pants don't 
often tend to be so tight that they reveal everything but the color of your skin. It's like, what purpose do leggings by themselves serve? Besides comfort and, and depending on which leggings your butt crack. But if you really like the feel of leggings, which I don't, but if you do, then I consider wearing something called jeggings. They resemble pants, but they're still insanely comfortable. Win win! Number six, invest in a hairstyle. If you don't take care of your hair, then it just ruins the whole look. Funny story, but back in high school when I had no sense of fashion or self identity, I looked like this. I mean, look at this! Blah, just blah, blah. How did I ever think that two stick thin braids and no bangs would ever look good on me? Talk to a hairstylist to see what style looks best on you. Heck, forget hairstyles for a minute. Talk to your family, see what they think. My sister sure nailed it for me on that high school picture. Boy, she was right. Ugly. I'd also invest in a hair care routine, like after I shower, I could give it a blowout while putting in, adding in a product like mousse or volumizer. I don't like to put in too much product in there though. I also like to curl my hair with rollers, not irons. I feel like irons damage your hair more, but your choice. Number seven, keep the makeup to a minimum. Don't ask me, don't ask me, it's how the French do it, okay? <laughs> I gotta agree though, when people put on a whole face of makeup on, it doesn't really enhance their beauty, it just makes the makeup look more obvious. Play up certain assets of your features instead. Either give your eyes a smoky shadow or apply a vibrant lipstick. Less is more, you guys. Speaking of lipstick, red lipstick is very vibrant and noticeable. Again, this is the French method. I can see why they swear by it, though. Number eight, incorporate formal wear into your closet. Like blazers. I have so many of them, you guys, it's not even funny. Get a comfortable one to throw on when you're going out with friends. They make anything look put together. Now here's how I like to mix casual and formal. Blouse plus blazer plus my most comfortably casual American Eagle shorts. Number nine, it's all about the fit. Purchase clothes that fit you just right. I mean, obviously, but adding in that extra nip and tuck just for your figure does wonders. I really like my black blazer, for instance. It's cinched at the waist and goes with just about anything. I also suggest contrasting tight fits with something looser. Maybe I'll wear a loose top with billowing sleeves and paired with my snug American Eagle shorts. Number 10, and this one's really short. When in doubt, wear monochrome. Add some bright lipstick for a pop of color. Thank you for watching. I hope that was at least somewhat informative. Um, don't take my tips here too personally because I think I'm a rather untrendy. Untrendy. Is that a word? I'm a rather alternative fashionista. And comment what other videos you'd like to see. Would you like to see another fashion video? Because I'm not sure yet where this channel is heading in terms of content, but one thing's for sure. I sure don't shut up about clothes. <laughs> Until the next time, guys, it's Tiffany Wright, signing out.